I'm a couple miles up on the high pass trail. It's steep and there's snow, there's snow up here, which is cool. And I guess there's some mines. I met up with some guy down at the camp. So he's up here hiking with me and we're gonna try, we might go to the mines if we can find them. So yeah, we're like, I think two and a half miles up on a four mile hike and we're going somewhere up there. I don't really know where, but you can feel the altitude. I think we're at 5,500 feet or so right now. And we're going up to 6,500 and change. So it's pretty good. It's beautiful out here. We're way up there. We're going somewhere up here. I don't fucking know where. Up there, I think, is the trail. I'm going up this little tiny scramble here up the face of the mountain. Super sketchy. Oh. Way up here. That's Mount Baker, right there. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I made it to the peak. And it is crazy. I'm looking at all these mountains. Way up there. Not bad for an East Coast guy. That's crazy right there. You can't get up there. You need rock climbing gear for that. I'm not crazy enough to do something crazy like that. <laughs> Here I am up top. Beautiful, beautiful view. Unreal. I'm gonna go back the same way. Down there, I'm not going to the edge either. No, hell, hell no. Yep, this is wild. I'm gonna rest a little bit and I'm gonna head back down. I met this guy over here, <coughs> 55 years old. He's been hiking with me all day. I gotta give him a lot of credit. 56, 56 almost. We went through some crazy side, side winding mountain trails there. That was wild, switchbacks. And I, I think that's Mount Baker right there. I don't know that, but I'm pretty sure. Unreal. And the bee, there's a bee that keeps following me. I don't know why. Look at that. You hear, there's a waterfall down there. I can hear it. Oh, you can see it. You can see the waterfall. Yeah, I've never done anything like this before. This is very unique. Very unique, special. Uh, trip for me going down is gonna be a little sketchy i don't have any poles should have brought some poles there's no sticks or anything either. Uh, i might be able to get a stick out of this brush but i'm gonna rest for a little bit have some water have a snack and then i'm gonna head down the mountain i'm out here grilling up some uh leftover tacos so i'm having some tacos tonight with some rice and beans and i got some nice uh Peppers and onions to go with it. With soft taco shells, hard taco shells, and some taco blend cheese. And I got some color. You can probably see it on me. I got I got burned the other day on the Columbia River. And then I got burned hiking up this trail today. So I'm going to be pretty dark. Um, yeah, and I tan pretty good. So I look nice. <laughs> beautiful out. I'm at the Twin Lakes here. And uh, yeah, it's just beautiful out here. Real nice. No bugs. A couple of bees along the trail. No bugs. And there's no flies. There's no mosquitoes. Nothing. It's great. Real good. Alrighty, so I spent a couple nights over at Twin Lakes here. 
and uh, I ended up doing the hike up top to the high pass. That was awesome. And uh, now it's time to move on. Yeah, I kind of just hung out yesterday. I was, I was really tired. I ended up reading a book, sat around, um, went on a couple short hikes around like the river and whatnot, and started hiking down to the mine, got to the trailhead, and realized it was like 2,700 foot elevation uh, negative drop which obviously means I have to go back up that. So I decided not to, because I just figured it was I was gonna be too tired. So I'm gonna check out a couple things out here, get some coffee, um, just have like a light yogurt for breakfast maybe. But uh, I'm gonna go to the next town over and I drove through it on the way in and there was a little coffee place with some Wi-Fi. <coughs> so, should be a good time. It's nice and early, my phone actually uh, last night I had a couple beers with some of the people here in a, in a van. They were from Canada, and uh, my my phone was telling me that it was like one o'clock, and I basically had uh, to change my I had to manually change my time zone on it to to uh, to out here in uh, uh, somewhere out in California. But anyways, so the the lady there helped me out with that, got it all set up. And uh, now I'm in the proper time zone for the time being. So, all right, see what we can get done today. So this is a road down, uh, basically super steep switchbacks um, that one car can go down. Not many places to turn around or not many places to pass anyone. Um, and then there's basically these little hairpin turns at every corner going down. And there's also these ruts for drainage. Uh, but I'm way up here, obviously. And I went up this in two wheel drive. Uh, a couple other people had to put it in four wheel drive to go up, but I've got nice new tires. So uh, you can see here's the, here's the road. And there's like a giant rut right there. So I'm just taking my sweet time going down it. This is like the widest part of the road. Once I get up ahead here, it really gets narrow. And I came up this at night at uh, like nine o'clock. Like started, I was up at this top section. It was getting so dark, it was crazy. I'm like, oh man, where am I going? <laughs> the hairpin it basically just keeps doing hairpin turns so I'm gonna focus on the road now so I don't die <laughs> um, one long wrong little turn there and you go off into the middle of nowhere nothing down there at all to stop you so I'm gonna focus on that so this is one thing that surprised me there was uh, bees that they have right here beehives right at the beginning of the trail area uh, obviously electric fence for the bears, but uh, I was just surprised to see this when I was coming up the other night. 